Well, looking at the angle of the pipe, I'm not surprised it's leaking. So we've just come away for the one night this weekend and we've come to Airwood Reservoir, Airwood Reservoir, however you pronounce it. Spell E double R. E double R. It's just above Buxton, sort of northwesterly of Buxton, not far away, about four or five miles. Mm -hmm. Um, we literally just parked on the edge of the road here. There is some car parks up and down. The car park down there doesn't say anything about no overnight camping, but further down they do say no overnight camping. Mm -hmm. But this is just like a little bit of a lay on edge of this road. Where yeah, they... we pulled into the bottom car park because it's actually on uh, park for nights, but yeah. there's not a lot of internet or phone signal down there, so no, we've got we decided to move. A little bit more up here, so Zach's a little bit happier. <laughs> But yeah, you can see the reservoir behind us out the window, mm. that's lovely. But if you watched last week's video, we did tell everybody we got a bit of news, haven't we? Just a bit, yeah, well. a little just, bit. Just a little mm -hmm. bit of news, because mm -hmm. we're going to be changing what we do. Yes. And uh, it's quite big for us, mm -hmm. because we've been... We've been thinking about it for the last six months plus. Yeah, so we've been thinking about this for the last six months plus, and um, we've been selling bits and pieces off and we decided to put the house up for sale this week mm -hmm. and we decided we're going to go full time in the van, full time travelling and pick up work here and there wherever we may be. Yes. So we've committed to it. Yep. Um, we started viewings on the house yesterday so it seems to be moving rather fast. Yeah. It came from an idea um, and then it's just, it's just going to shoot it's, off. Yeah, you know. it's just suddenly hit reality. We're yeah, actually it's like, Whoa, going minute. for it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's happening now. Yeah. So I've got the van ready to be off grid. Mm -hmm. um, we just keep testing it out now. Yeah, it. just making little adjustments here yeah. and there, don't we? Keep making little adjustments here and there to the van to get it super ready. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got absolutely a ton of viewings this week to come on the house. Oh, it's so gone crazy. We expect it to sell quite quickly. Um, and then we're going to pack our jobs in. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tour for a while, and then we're going to probably find a job next year, just do a bit of seasonal work. Yep. Uh, we don't quite know yet, do we? We don't really know. We haven't really planned that far ahead. We haven't we really just, planned that far ahead. We just sort of thought that the time's right for something that we've wanted to do for a long, long time. We've wanted to do it for a long time, and we both suffer with a few things. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, why, why don't we do it? Yeah. Why, why not? What's stopping us? So we're going to do it. So we're just going to relax here for a bit. Mm. We might go for a little walk in a bit. Eh? Yeah, I think so. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. We we'll had to come out for a wander because we were falling to sleep, weren't oh, we? No. Want you to nod off at dinner time. Stresses of the week just passed. <laughs> it's age, I think. Well, speak for yourself. It's our age. We're getting old now. We're wanting an afternoon snooze. <laughs> we're taking the dog out. It's a bit of wind. Them sailing boats are doing well out there. in behind. <laughs> so it looks like we're just the other side of this piece here. So we've come up and then we're coming back down now. Made it. Airwood House ruins. Nobody died on the way here. Or did nearly slip over though. <laughs> was the ruins of Airwood Hall. That's if you that's how you pronounce it, isn't it? Airwood. Airwood. Airwood I would think. I don't know. 
here would we think just behind us correct as if you know yeah correct as if you know beautiful stone archways where the windows were no, nothing left of the place so no, but I don't so quite beautiful. know what's happened to it whether it's the weather or who knows mm. no particular access to it is there really no muddy footpaths muddy footpaths that was a lovely walk we've made it back to the van and we've made a decision there's another car park a little bit further up and there's supposed to be some cracking views from up there so we don't want to miss it so we're just going to move a bit further up a couple of mile up road isn't it yeah it's only a couple of mile away so we're just going to scout that one out and we might even stop up there we think <laughs> choice look at these views and if you can just see over there we've got Manchester very windy up here but wow you can see for miles so that is going to be home for the night. So I think it's time we got a bit of tea on. What we're we going to have? <sighs> I think it's going to be a bit of a chuck together thing tonight. We haven't really got yeah. anything. Nothing exciting in the Ridge Monkey tonight. Um, we've got a, got a steak pie. We've got some fries. We've got pizza. Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. I think it's going to be a bit and bob tea. Mm -hmm. I know Zach would like some chicken nuggets, and I think there's some chicken nuggets in the freezer. There is there's some chicken goujons in the freezer. So I'm going to hand it over to my glamorous assistant to cook tea. for a bit of tea aren't we mm -hmm. now it's drink time i'm having beer tonight no wine tonight so i can't smash no wine glasses tonight look it's still intact how many weeks have i had it three weeks yeah three weeks still alive we're just in a pretty good sunset oh beautiful it's absolutely beautiful so we're going to share it with you now mm -hmm. and yeah it was nice to watch it go down and we, we just sat looking out across that way and we can see all the Manchester all lit up mm. and everything. It's uh, oh, it's an amazing view up here. If you're ever out Buxton Way, you need to come and park up up here. It's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful view. Um, we've got some people in cars near us. They're actually going up further up to the summit. Mm. And they're camping out in tents. So I envy them because that must be cracking. <laughs> Obviously, it's a bit cold for them. But we've got the heating on, so we're all mm. right. But it must be cracking up there at the summit. So yeah. we're just going to settle down and enjoy a drink. And have a nice chilled out evening after a, a hectic week. Chilled up, chilled out evening, and we'll uh, catch up with you in the morning. See you in the morning. <laughs> Zach's a bit hungry, so we better get some breakfast on eh? Mm -hmm. I'm hungry as well, come to think of it. You're always hungry. Yep, yeah, I'm always hungry. Oh, and good morning by the way. We slept well here, didn't we? Yeah. Slept really well. How did you sleep, Zach? Good. Good lad. Let's get some breakfast on. Oh, this is lovely bread. Doing a cheese and ham toasty. Important to butter the bread on the outside. Our breakfast is 
saved. Thank you. So we've got a bit of a wet carpet down here. We thought somebody had spilt some, but we haven't. We've got a water leak. And it's coming from these pipes under here. If you see this pipe here. Well, looking at the angle of the pipe, I'm not surprised it's leaking. So I've had to switch the water off for now. I'm going to have to address that situation when we get home. But well, it's wet all the floor. So we're not having a carvery then, because they're full. Oh no, that's rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> and I can't get that panel off either because I ain't got a right size screwdriver. No, you're rubbish as well then. So I might go home and sulk. <laughs> what are we going to do now then? Because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Somewhere I'll else? Find somewhere else for dinner. Somewhere else. So we decided to head home in the end, didn't we? Yeah. Couldn't, to, couldn't get in for lunch anyway. Everywhere was fully booked. Everywhere's fully booked. Um, you struggle to park a big motor home like that and it's always going to be a bit of a problem. So we decided let's just go to Morrison's and we'll save a few quid. So. Yeah. Grab a chicken. Grab a chicken for a fiver, so we probably saved 25 quid by coming home, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of a shorter video this week. Now, I've had a few questions about the kind of stuff we use on the van, what solar panels we've got, uh, batteries, um, video and equipment. Um, I'll put them all down in the description now with Amazon links if anybody's interested with what we use in the van or on the van. So they'll all be down in the description and I'll add to them as we gain more stuff. But yeah, I think that's it for this week's video. A bit of a shorter one, like I say. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. We will.